right, it's lunchtime. I got my Eagle Claw packet here, my little mini Senko. So I'm gonna see if I can't catch some bass. There we go. Ah, oh, little one, he came off. Son of a gun. There we go. Take it. There we go. Oh, feels like a little one. Yep. Well, not too bad. Just a little guy. First bass, got the skunk off. <laughs> All right. It's a real subtle bite, though. They are not very fired up right now. Well, there he is. Just a little guy. All right, fish. Tap tap. There we go. Oh man. Oh, he came off. Son of a gun. That was a nice bass. Everything all messed up here. What's going on? Yeah, let's see. I'm back. Yep, that was Joe. Apparently, the usual spot we go to at lunch, they, uh, are putting chemicals in the water so the fish are absolutely shut down so it makes me feel a little bit better about coming to this spot now <laughs> all right guys well lunch breaks over with right now walking back to the truck about a six minute drive to work but this is what i was using the eagle claw packet the bass pro shops the senko that i just cut in half to make it a mini As you can tell it's pretty beat up but I think we're going to come back after work and give it another try. So we'll see you then. All right, here we are. It's after work. Now it's time to catch some bass. Such a subtle bite. Yeah, we'll look there. Big fella. There we go. A little guy. Stay out of them weeds. your hands keeps from pulling the scales off of a fish I know I'm guilty of doing it especially in these canals to try to lip them yeah this worm has just about had it I keep saying that but I'm gonna keep using it until it completely falls apart <laughs> I just think it adds more action but, I mean you can see how much more I've pinched this thing down originally it was like that long <laughs> But that's the part about winter fishing. You need to slow down and use smaller baits. You may not catch monsters, but whether they're eight pounds or five pounds, I still love catching them. Well, I just missed one right there, of course. What can you do? Sometimes these bigger fish right now, they're in pre-spawn. So they're picking up baits, trying to move them away from them. Some of them are building beds, some are searching for beds, and the ones that have got a bed started, the male will just pick stuff up and move it away. Sometimes the female will do that as well. So if you feel that tug, whether you think it's a lily pad or not, definitely set the hook. That's what happened right there. I let the fish have it too long and by the time I set the hook, he had already dropped it. Alright guys, here's a better look at uh, what I'm doing. I'm pinching about an inch 
of that Bass Pro Shop style Senko off. And I got the 16th ounce weight on there. And I got a loop knot tied on there so it's got a bunch of good action to it. So let's get back at it. Here's again. Gotcha that time. Guys, they're fun. <clears throat> yeah, but he feels pretty warm, so he's hanging out in that warm water. Oh, he swam right back to me. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, 2.71, almost three pounds. Damn! It's a nice one. I'm gonna have him take some pictures with him. <laughs> Dude got him a nice one. You never know. It was almost three pounds. There's 2.71. There we go. Oh, a little one. I think that's gonna do it for me today. These little guys are fun, but I'm ready to go home and get something to eat. Let's wet my hands. He choked it. Oh boy, he choked it pretty good. Alright, fish. Big. 